Mr. Covington, how are you? Yes. <laughs> Welcome back to the Watchatorium. <laughs> yes, you you know. We've been here for years, and we sell some of the best watches that you're ever going to come across here in the world. How you been? Oh, really? You're looking for a watch for a special occasion? For, for who, may I ask? Ah, okay. Your wife, Mrs. Cummings. I'm so sorry to hear that she, she's, she's, she's sick. I'm sorry to hear about that, Mr. Covenant. Yes. I'm sorry to hear about that. I'm glad, I'm glad you're here. And, and what stages, may I ask? <laughs> Stage four. That's. That's uh, always hard to come back from, Mr. Covington. I, uh, I unfortunately haven't had a chance. I haven't gone through that. But you're here because you want these watches for a special occasion. And let me tell you, I will do my darndest today to get your watch to your satisfaction, Mr. Covington. Yes, and listen, because you're a value customer beyond platinum, of the most platinum customers, what you pick today will be on the house, Mr. Covenant. Yes. Okay. So please, uh, while I look for watches, you're more than welcome to just talk. Okay? This is your time. So it, it started Tuesday. You heard the news Tuesday, right? Okay. Oh, okay. And she, she was, and you said she's doing well. But this was aggressive, an aggressive cancer. So what was it? rarest of the rare. Okay, okay, listen. We've come across today this watch. Stainless steel. Okay. God forbid. It lasts very long for a long time. Maybe over 30 years without rusting. So, okay. If at any point you want her buried and you want this watch to go with her, okay. I am not reveling today to talk about this, but this is a very durable watch. Now, this is, I can't even tell you the price because it's on the house. Your money is not good here today, okay? I just need to know which ones you want. It also has, it also tells time from other time zones as well, with certain clicks. Okay, so that, let's see. This this button right here can send it to different time zones, and this button right here you can change the month in the year. No. Um. You want me to rate it? I give the watch a seven. I'm not a big fan of stainless steel. Okay, okay. You said her favorite meal was spaghetti and meatballs. And she couldn't eat it today. And you cried. Now this one. 
this especially for women and it's a classic size worn by uh, not only many business women but very classic classical women who like to you know, be casual be comfortable so if you're looking for comfortability and something cutesy of a a smaller frame with small hands and small numbers I, I suggest this but it's leather Mr. Covington so I'm not sure if it's going to last mold in years to come okay it maybe has an heirloom so of course you set the hands back and forth just like that and you can set the time That's good. That's good. Mr. Covenant, I didn't want that for you, okay? I didn't want that for you. Okay. What was that? This one. Mr. Covenant. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is your wife's taste or if this may look good on your wife wherever she may be sitting, whether it's still be with us somehow or in a casket <laughs> you want this for you you want me to sell it to you? okay I can sell it M Mr. Covenant I can give this to you right now you, you want me to sell it okay okay L listen this watch was worn this type of brand is is worn by some of the most elite men. All right, I once saw this type of watch, a Rolex to be exact. Just a more elite model. I once saw Ric Flair wear this and he's, <laughs> I, I get excited when I talk about this watch. <laughs> I saw him wear a Rolex and I was like, I gotta get one. He's wheeling, dealing, get stealing. Limousine run. <laughs> and he buys all the roller. Okay, he loved it. It's a little bit more updated. Okay. It doesn't moan. The hands. They're very blatant. Okay. They tell exact time. Alright. Cleaning it is very easy. Okay. And when you wear this, it makes a statement, baby. <laughs> All right, now I can give this to you. You want this one? Do you want this one right here, right off my wrist? I'm willing to do it for you, make you happy. Okay, you, you want your own one? Okay, that's what I'll do. I'll order it today, so it'll be given to you by next week. And when you get this watch, we're going to take pictures, lots of pictures, all right? I want you looking fresh, okay? Everything for you, Mr. Government, okay? Now, let's get back to your wife. Yes, okay. But what was that? What was that for her style? Okay, casual, all right? All right, well, let me, let me, let me look. Let me look inside my collection. I got something for you. If all else fails, I have something for you. I think you might like. All right, uh, let's see. Oh, Mr. Cobb. <laughs> I think you might like this one, Mr. Covington. If she doesn't smile when she sees this, then that's fine. Okay, first of all, that's fine if she doesn't smile, but. Mr. Covington. A nice Timex takes a licking and it keeps on ticking. Now again, leather. So I'm not sure about it holding up, but if this was what she wants, it's what Miss Covington gets today. You understand? 
because we at Watch Torium, we know how to treat our customers, okay? All right, now we'll hold on. I don't know magic, but I'll like see him. How about this one? Now, we talked about stainless steel, and let me tell you, I might take this if you don't. <laughs> now, my wife doesn't like it, but I have a couple of aunts who might, okay? And this was a very top seller several years ago, and it's just made a recent comeback. It's a, uh, a Fornage. Fornage. Yes. Yes, this year, 2023, a Fornage. The Germans wear it. The Germans are very high in fashion. Okay, Mr. Covington. Listen, if you like it, you like this one, it's on the table. Remember, always go steal. Steal the steals for you. All right. Okay, what else we got? What else we got? Now I know. else's opportunity running out to get this all right this is going home with you today i'm going to wrap this up for you mr carpenter all right okay let's see what else <clears throat> all right mr carpenter i'm going to show you another one okay It's a sort of year, okay? A sort of year. Very small face. No, okay, no, why? Are you sure? Okay. It reminds you of your, your mother's watch. And she lost it in a fire. And she blamed you because you couldn't find it. Wow, that, I am so sorry. Is your mother still with us? She is. Feeding the village. 
several rebel attacks. Wow. She set up buildings and taught them English and math. My, my ass, a few other things out. What else was she like? Uh, she took care, oh, okay, yep. She took care of the children while you were away, building a life for your family. She came, yeah, she didn't work. Oh, and she made, okay, so she made, she made something out of a lot of things, out of nothing. She made, you know, dinner for three children, correct? Every night. And when you came home, and when you came home, she always had a, a warm plate for you. Oh, oh, oh my goodness, yeah. She saw you in it when you were sick, and she took care of you as well. Mr. Covington, where were you in the hospital? You had a stroke. How did you guys even, like, make ends meet? She took care of you during your stroke and recovery. She had family members come over and, and she went back to work. Wow. She worked she worked for a law firm. How many days a week? Seven days a week to make ends meet. Oh my gosh, I never knew that. How long was your stroke? Oh my gosh. About a year. Oh my gosh, your stroke recovery was a year. <sighs> wow, I'm sorry, I didn't know that. But you've recovered greatly to me, I didn't even know. And you you made you made her quit when you came back to work. And she spent the rest of the time on the work staff at church. I'm fixing the church. What can she not do? <laughs> yeah, I know. Play golf. <laughs> yeah. Who, who really can play golf? Oh my gosh. And she feeds stray cats. Last damn time. Mr. Covington, can I share a story with you? I didn't have the best relationship with my mom. So many years ago, when I was when I was a small boy, I had a great aunt. Her name was Aunt Mary. When my mom could not be my mother at times. My mother could be a very, uh, how can I say, hard person to deal with, with her addictions and being a workaholic and a functioning drug addict. So I had to live, I had to live without my Aunt Mary and, uh, she was also a religious woman. Because of her, I know how to pray. And with your wife being able to uh, put things together, I have nothing. It reminded me of her. And I miss her every day. I looked at the skies and just asked her for for one more chance, just to come back to Earth and help me, and just give me answers and just walk with me. Well, 
I'm like, I've never danced with Aunt Mary. I can sympathize for wanting her back. She made meals that can feed an army every Sunday. She used to bake cakes. And when I came over, she would have one ready for us. She used to uh, come downstairs humming. And me and my brother, we used, we used to always be at the uh, at the bottom of the steps waiting for her. Excited to start our day because she would feed us. And little did we know from our Baptist church, they used to always stand and receive the choir. Little did we know that we were receiving our choir. What I wouldn't give for one more day. Another hour. Another second with Amaya Mary. Maybe more than a second. So I understand what you're going through. Mr. Covenant. Years ago. searched in the Middle East and found some artifacts. While these artifacts were very special amongst many, he believed he came across something so special that it can possibly do things that has never been done before, Mr. Carpenter. a special watch that was recovered and traded on many different markets and it landed here. This watch is very special. I haven't used it.
Never. Never come back. Now I fully warn you, if this is what you want, I will give this to you. Do you understand? You understand, don't you? Yes, you open the hatches and... You want it? Okay. Yes. I will, I will box it up and bag everything up. For you, Mr. Covington. Yes. Okay. Yes. Mr. Covington. I'll have you safe travels. Do you understand? Okay. What will you tell your children and everyone else? That you had a... Okay. You had a great life. Yes, Mr. Coven. Okay. You'll write a letter. Never tell where this came from. Never. Never give away the secret. Know how you found this. Yes. You set the timer. And then hide the timer. Somewhere where no one can find you. And somewhere where no one can find it. Thank you for shopping at Watchatory.